Hello, let us discuss a very good question based on the properties of prime numbers. So the question is, P is a prime number and M is a positive integer. We need to find how many solution exist for the equation P raised to 6 minus P and this is given equal to M square plus M plus 6 multiplied by P minus 1. Now we know that M is a positive integer. So this value has to be integer only because m square will be an integral value. m integer, 6 integer, the sum of 3 integer will be integer only. So that further means that p raised to power 6 minus p is definitely divisible by p minus 1. And this must be an integral value, right? And this is equal to m square plus m plus 6. Here we should perfect divide, right? So when we divide p raised to power 6 minus p by p minus 1 using long division method, We'll get P5 plus P4 plus PQ plus P square plus P. Fine. And this must be equal to M square plus M plus 6. Fine. Now, we have this value. Hai, ye, this must be equal to M square plus M plus 6. Now, we know that M is an integer. Now, let us assume that M is odd. We are assuming that M is odd. So, square of odd will be odd. Number is odd, so odd, and 6 is even. So the sum of these three will be even, right? When m is odd, the sum is coming out to be even. And when m is even, then even ka square even. Even number is even, and 6 is again even. So the sum of three even numbers is again even. So no matter what is the value of m, this value is always even. This m square plus m plus 6 is always even, right? So this is even. So, we can say that this summation must also be something which is even number, right? even Now, P is a prime number and we have all the prime numbers as odd. Only 2 is the exception. Only 2 is the prime number which is even. So, suppose P is an odd prime number. Now, I'm assuming that P is some odd prime number. The fifth power of any odd prime number will be odd. Fourth power again, odd. Third power again, odd. Square odd. And the number itself is odd. So, when we add five odd numbers, the result will be odd itself. But the answer must be even. So, from here, we can say that P is not a even, odd number. It's not an odd number, right? P has to be an even number only. And P is a prime number. And it's even also. So only one case exists for this. We have P equal to 2. Here we P ki definitely, definite value pata chal gai hai, right? Now here we P ki definite value pata chal gai hai. So what we'll do, we'll substitute the value of P as 2 in this equation. So we'll get 2 raised to the power 5 plus 2 raised to the power 4 plus 2 raised to the power 3 plus 2 raised to the power 2 plus 2. And this must be equal to M square plus M plus 6. Now, the sum of this will come out to be how much? 62. And this is equal to m square plus m plus 6. Further, m square plus m minus 56 must be equal to 0. On further solving, using Wilton splitting method, so we'll get m square plus 8m minus 7m minus 56 is equal to 0. And on factorizing, we'll get m plus 8 into m minus 7 equal to 0. Now m is either minus 8 or 7. But m cannot be minus 8. Why? Because here it is given that m is a positive integer. So the only possible value for m is 7. So only one solution exists for this equation. So the correct answer is only one solution is there. That is m equal to 7. I hope this question is clear to you. Thank you.